Welcome to Dining with Dan. So tonight I'm going to make a simple casserole called a cheesy broccoli chicken casserole. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do for this dish is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. You're going to want to take um, some of the prep before starting this. Is you're going to have uh, you want two pounds of chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Uh, you want to basically if you if you're buying that raw, you're going to want to cook that. Um, however you want to cook it, or you can buy it pre-cooked. You do a rotisserie chicken and just tear it apart. So basically, so here I have two pounds of chicken, diced, and shred it however you want to do it. To that we are going to mix a can of cream of mushroom soup, excuse me, cream of chicken soup, to that. I'm also going to take a half cup of mayonnaise and add that to it. Take a cup of sour cream, put that in there. Probably should have got a bigger bowl. I think that'll be alright. Tight, but it'll be alright. Yeah, so we're also going to take a Half teaspoon of paprika, and a half teaspoon of pepper, and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add that to it. Then we're going to take our cheese. Here I have basically one package, which is eight ounces, two cups of medium cheddar cheese. I'm going to basically mix that in there. I'm just going to leave well, about three quarters of that we're going to put in there. I'm going to mix that in there real well. Carefully, like I say, you want a large bowl. I probably should have got a bigger bowl for this. But we are going to be alright. We want to do alright. We'll blend this up, mix it up real well. Make sure all the seasonings are evenly distributed and the cheese and get everything mixed up real well. Now, like I said, in the, in the preparation, you want to make sure your chicken's cooked. Uh, if you're like you're using, well, whether you're using raw or frozen broccoli, you want to make sure that's cooked. When I'm using, using frozen broccoli, I just basically threw that in the microwave, so I have that here. I'm also going to need uh, two cups of rice, so cooked rice. So you want to want to prepare that before you start this dish as well. So we have this all set up. Take our take pan. You want to basically lightly grease that, so you can use a uh, cooking spray to spray that down. I'm going to rinse this off real quick. Right. So to our pan, we'll take two cups of rice, which I've already just cooked. I'm going to spread that across the bottom of this. Just cooked this, so that's why it's steaming. Steamer. Gonna spread that evenly across the bottom here. that we're going to take our broccoli and we're going to lay that up Oops, evenly. 
do a single layer as evenly as possible on that. Use florets. If you have any big pieces, you can break those up a little bit. Top of that we are going to take our chicken mixture we're going to spread that out carefully you don't want to move the rice and the broccoli around you want to keep that where it's keep that in place where it's at best as, it, as much as possible and there that's why I left a little bit of this cheese out, we're just going to basically sprinkle this last bit of cheese all around the top. If you have more, I only have only about one packet of cheese, and if you have more you can always take, I would actually recommend taking a whole 8 ounce packet of cheese and mixing it in. If you have some extra, maybe take a couple more ounces and spread that on the top. But, once it's done, it's done, we'll try this out. So that beep told us that the uh, oven's preheated. I'm going to throw this in. We're going to cook this for about 40 minutes. And we will come back and take a look at it. Alright, so it's been going for 40 minutes. Looks like it is good to go. Let's pull this out. Looks amazing. Let's sit for about five minutes and then we'll plate it up and we'll try it out. Alright, there we have it. Cheesy broccoli chicken casserole. Ooh. Smells awesome. Looks awesome. Ooh, that's hot. Taste awesome. Man. Ooh, that's good stuff. And other than the preparation, pretty simple dish. Good casserole and make quite a bit so you can serve the whole family. Anyway, now try this out. I'll put it down in the description below the recipe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Leave any suggestions, comments, concerns down in the description in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I want to thank you for, for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.